In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Counter-Strike 2 with Boosteroid. And this is one of the easiest ways you can play on your Mac. So it's a great way if you have a MacBook or an iMac or a Mac Mini, then this is the ideal way for you to play this game because it doesn't require you to install anything other than the application for Boosteroid if you want to. So there's two ways you can do this. Um, two ways that you can play the game is either you can go on the website for Boosteroid, which is on the web, which is this URL here, or, and this is in your browser, or you can download the Boosteroid application. And if you go this way, then uh, the Boosteroid application has some advantages, like it's a bit, it's a bit more easier, I think, for me. But then with the browser, you do have some advantages, like you can actually stream directly to YouTube. So what you want to do once you have a Boosteroid account is you want to give yourself a network connection test. This will let you know if you have a good enough connection to actually handle uh, FPS shooters like CS, CS2. So you want it to be less than 20. So as you can see, I have three, which is fine. And 433 is my bandwidth. You want over 25. So once you have your account set up and you've, you've checked your speed is fine, then you want to type in, um, or rather you want to go into the library. And now we can see these are the most popular games. Counter-Strike 2 is very popular, second most popular game. Or you can search for it in the search bar. So then you're going to click on um, play. So click OK, let's go. And remember, as I said, you can either use um, the browser or you can use the Boosteroid application. And this is a native Mac application now. So it's completely native. There's no translation or Rosetta. So now we are going to press OK. And now we're going to log in with our account. Let's click on play. So obviously Boosteroid is a cloud gaming platform. This is all over the internet, so it's not running locally, which has the advantages of not stressing your system out. Okay, we're finally in the game, nice. And we can click on play and, well, let's have a look at the graphic settings very quickly. Um, this is 1080p. So it's running at a mixture of medium and high. Those, these are the default settings. And FSR is disabled. NVIDIA Reflex is enabled. So we also want to um, display the frame rate. So how do we do that? I think we have to use um, a command because we want to kind of benchmark it so let's enable this developer console and then let's click on let's type in cl underscore show fps this will allow us to see our frame rate and we can do a comparison with other cloud gaming services like this Let's click on um, Inferno or Italy. Let's click on Italy. I think this is one of the revamped, uh, overhauled maps. So there are a mixture of different maps in CS2 with how they updated the map designs. And they have some maps are overhauled, some are upgraded, and some are called touchstone maps, which are not really modified. So we just want to see the performance. Let, let's. Uh, Spectate someone, one of the bots. Okay, we are getting 60 FPS, looks like, which is great. And yeah, it looks to be running smooth. Very smooth. One thing I did notice was when I ran this on GFN free tier, uh, it actually did dip down into the 30s sometimes. So I would say this performance is overall better so far. What I'm seeing it seems to be hovering around 60, which is perfect. 
60 frames per second is obviously the target, the ideal target frame rate. If you're on a 60 hertz monitor, which most monitors nowadays, most monitors do use 60 hertz as the native uh, default frame rate. So let me put the volume of the game up a bit, and you can hear the game. And yeah, as you can see, their frame rate is in the top left. Let me also reduce the size of the of the uh, heads up display if I can how do I do that here we are oh no uh, okay I don't think we can actually change the size of the heads up display but yeah as you can see in the top left the frame rate is still hovering around 60 another thing another map we can try Let's try Inferno. This is another overhauled map. So these are the kind of stress testing as much as possible because these are the overhauled maps. So they're gonna have the most performance hit, presumably, because they're using all of the new source engine, source two engine features like improved lightning and improved shadows, improved textures, everything like that. So this is kind of a stress test. I think we are limited to 60 FPS. It seems to be the case. And yeah, I'm very impressed with the uh, performance of the game. So far, seems to be running great. So frame rate seems to be limited to 60. I'm not sure we can change that, but it's fine. 60 is the perfect frame rate for us, as it's matching the refresh rate of my MacBook. And yeah, the game is running really, really well. I'm very impressed. Let me try another map. Let's try... Hmm. Try overpass. This was another overhauled map, so it's kind of stress testing as well. Yeah, the performance is fantastic. Very, very impressed. I don't think I could ask for more than than a lot. 60 FPS is is uh, perfect, and looks great as well. show uh, the stats if you hold escape show statistics
Okay. One last map we're going to try is the nuke map. So one nice thing with Boostroid is there's no time limits, there's no waiting time either. You're immediately um, into your cloud gaming session. So unlike some other ones where you might have to wait, there's no waiting to get into the game. Other than just doing occasionally you might have to up update the game, things like that. And uh, yeah. There's no session time limits as well. You can play as long as you like in one session. So yeah, I would 100% I would recommend this. If you're into FPS shooter games, then you can play CS2 or you can play Overwatch. I've tested both Overwatch and this game as well now and Overwatch runs fantastic as well. I've even tried maxing out all of the settings on Overwatch and it still still handled it really well so really really impressed. I think this is probably my favorite cloud gaming service right now and a lot of it is just because there's so many games you can play on this on this one that are not available on other cloud gaming services. It's one reason why Boosteroid is probably the best in 2023, the best progress, the most progress. It's made a lot of progress, like in how good it's become. I think going from 2022 to 2023. We have seen so many improvements to the app and to Boosteroid. The actual uh, the quality of the stream has gone has gone up. The performance has gone up. The application has more uh, more compatibility compatibility uh, on different platforms like on Mac and mobile. Everything. So yeah, it's really really great. And there you have it, that is the easiest way to play Counter-Strike 2 on your Mac. If you have any questions about how to, how to do this, I'll be more than happy to answer. And remember, you can also use the Boosteroid application. So I go to Boosteroid, then if I type in Counter-Strike, Click on play, that will ask me, I mean, that will immediately put me into the application. And yeah. So there we have it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you join Boosteroid Discord server. They are doing half price for the first month right now. So now is the best time to sign up. Stay tuned, Mac gamers. Thank you for watching.